have learned from Boston police now that a second student has been arrested in connection with the two guns that were found at Charlestown High School. Let's get right out to WBZ's Beth Germano. And Beth, from the way you've been describing it to us in the newsroom, it was a really big scare for students there. Very unnerving for students and parents, many of whom were receiving cell phone calls from their children as all of this was unfolding. Two students are now facing weapons possession charges, and the school department is vowing to give students here support. Boston police swarming Charlestown High School this morning, where a 13 and 17 year old male students were arrested for possessing a firearm and forcing the school into safe mode. Doors locked and no one in or out. Junior Brandon Meyer says he was anxious and knew little of what was happening. A lot of a lot of things went through my mind. I didn't know, you know, what was going to happen if it was going to be a school shooting. I called my mom multitudes of times. She answered. I told her about what was going on. Just after noontime, more police arrived on the scene as a second gun was found. Students staying in their classrooms and some in the cafeteria. Some uncertain if there was an actual shooter in the school. The teachers, I'm not going to lie, they they were making us feel safe with their words, but it was still nerve wracking because I didn't. Want anything bad to happen. She said no, nobody can leave the cafeteria because the people have arm, you know? So did that make you nervous? See. As the weapons were safely recovered, students were gradually dismissed early, and canine units went in to conduct a sweep of the high school with 730 students and a middle school on the fifth floor. The discovery unnerving for parents who raced to pick up their children. She told me he uh, he's scary because uh, one guy, the 13 year, he got gone in, in the backpack. I'm too worried about my child. I wanna I wanna take him. I wanna pick him up, but I don't know how. What concerned students was a lack of information about the situation as they waited with questions of how guns got in in the first place. I'm just questioning how we're in this school and we don't have the funds to make sure that people don't bring guns into school. Well, it was going through the parents' heads. Why is your kid having you know a gun on them and why is they bringing the school? Now, some students did say that metal detectors had been removed from the school during the pandemic. Coming up at 6 o'clock, more on the school department calling this an unacceptable breach of security. Reporting live from Charlestown, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you.